G'day, I'm Luke from Drifter and we're here in the new dot factory. Uh, I was going to show you a look at the new dot 7 camper. So we've been doing a lot of work on it the last several months and finally we've got a chance to have it finished and we can show you a video all about it. So that's it here. Okay, we're calling it the dot 7 camper, 7 foot trailer. Uh, it's a 10 foot tent, folds out this way 10 foot with an 8 foot awning. Okay, and uh, what you see here is our new dot factory. We haven't moved in yet, uh, but we're moving in in the next couple of weeks. So we've been doing a lot of work up here the last few months. And we've got a great, a big uh, heated spray booth here that we've put in, so we'll be able to, uh, you know, bake the trailers on the cold days. Now I'll give you a quick look. So the, the space here we'll have is about five times more space than what we've had in our other dot factory. The other little factory we made to sort of uh, build three, four trailers a month. Um, you know, the problem is we're sort of building, we're building six or seven trials a month and we're selling about ten. So we really need to expand and, um, you know, this, this shed here will have five, six times more space and a lot more capacity to build the trials. So we'll be able to get to a stage where we can build ten trials a month, which is, you know, it's a lot of work, a huge amount of work, and that's probably where we'll uh, finish up in, in terms of what we can build. But a lot more space and... Give you a quick look over here. There's our uh, plasma cutter. So we've got this recently and doing a lot of work here. Uh, it's all computer controlled. It cuts out uh, lots and lots of brackets for beachy. These are all our the latch plates for our drawers. Lots of different brackets. And there's about 25 different pieces uh, on the trailer that we use to cut out as well. Something like that. That's the uh, rear side panel of the trailer. So uh, behind the mud guard. And you can imagine something like that, it's, it's a lot of work to cut that out. One on a guillotine, but then you've got to literally cut all this with a grinder and shape it up. So, you know, the plasma cutter cuts all those out automatically and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's running now pretty much all day. So that's been great. This area here is what we're going to call the uh, fabrication side. And I'll show you the fitting side, which we've already moved into. So this here is called the fitting area for the dot trailers. We've been in here now for about two or three weeks and yeah, it's, it's literally about four times more space than what we've had before. We've got a big area in here uh, where we can set the trailers up for the tents and we can do up to two at a time. We've got two fitting bays and you can see here a couple of dot six armies. This is a dot six army but it's got a medium canopy, so a little bit of a higher canopy. And this one here is a dot six army with the standard canopy. Apart from that, they'll be the same trailer. So, um, you know, the, the dot six army has been a really popular trailer, and it's probably accounts for about half the trailers we're doing now. And now that we can fit two at a time, it sort of doubles our production in terms of fitting. So it's a great little area here. Um, like I said, two fit-out bays. We've got a receiving area here. We've got our own tire machine. And uh, Andrew's little office here, he fits all the tyres for us. Um, now upstairs, directly above all of this area here, is our canvas shop. So a fair bit of what we do, of course, on the trailers is, is canvas, and we'll show you that quickly. Yeah, so this is our new canvas factory, and it's changed a lot since when it was just uh, Jenny on our own um, in the above the dot shed. We've got now six sewing machines um, and a couple of these binding machines. So you know we've got seven ladies here working now full time. So it's amazing, it's amazing what they're putting out. You know, a lot of products for the dot campers themselves. Um, you know, a host of bags for our website for a lot of the Snowpick products and also our retail bags as well. So you know last month they built over 450 um, articles which is bags or rooftop bags so it's a huge amount of work we're getting done here and you know it's growing really quickly so I'll do a video um, in a couple of days show you up here when everybody's working and uh, it's really amazing to see it all happen all right so let's get down and get this camper and we'll um, show you how it sets up right so we'll take this camper down with the buggy down to our backyard and I'll set it all up and show you what it's all about Get it all to the bench. 
trails and uh, you know, get around the place. Rightio, so we've got it here and we'll set it up for you and I'll walk you around the camper first while it's closed up and then we'll open it up for you. Now most of the things that are on the trailer here now are standard but a few of the things are listed on the extras page. So we've got a really nice spec sheet now, also a quote builder on the website where you can tick the extras and it'll build the price for you. So it's a really easy way of finding out you know, the price of the trailer with the extras. So most of what you see here now is on the standard dot seven camper. There are a few things that will show you that's on the extras page, so make sure you check the uh, spec sheet on the website to see what's listed as standard and what's not. At the front here is the uh, 2.5 ton Oz hitch, okay, that's standard on all the trailers we build. All the Alco running gear, so we've got the handbrake there, uh, large heavy duty jockey wheel. It's really important that smaller things like this, like a jockey wheel, is not skimped on, you know. So many times you see a nice caravan or a nice trailer and it's just got a crap jockey wheel. So we really try to make sure that uh, you know everything's the best quality that we can. You can see the detail on the front here. Um, we've we wrapped the lining, the drawbar, um, rated chains, rated shackles. There's two chains, and uh, we've got nice grommets around you know the leads. So we've got standard seven-pin plug. Uh, we can of course put the seven-pin round or the large round, and this is the Anderson plug for the battery as well. Uh, that's the Drifter Stone Guard. Okay, it's bolted on. It's on U-bolt, so we can move that forward and back. The drawbar is standard 2100, so that means that there's enough room for, say, a Prado or an FJ Cruiser. Got the large uh, front dot mud flaps on there, on both sides. This is a really nice addition too. Uh, a lot of these features come from our dot campers, the, the Six Army, and uh, that's our rubbish bag. So you can use that for firewood and different things, but it works really good as a rubbish bag. Uh, I've got a Super Peg aluminium pole carrier here. In the toolbox here, um, this is made in Brisbane from Diamond T, it's just an internal tray. Got a little bit of touch up for the Raptor lining, a can of touch up from the camouflage screen. Spec sheets there, some tick lists and also you get a, a sheet here that's got instructions in it and all the manuals and things like that, all the keys. So that's inside there. Here's one of our canvas bags we put in there as well, which has got all your pegs and ropes. Okay, pegs and ropes. It's in there, some walls. On this model here, I've got the dual battery set up. So standard comes with one battery. On this one, we've got the second battery. And you can see in here, there's a kill switch, there's a fuse block, there's a projector charger. We're using this here now, so you can see the voltage at all the times. At all times, if you turn the kill switch off. It'll turn off, um, but you can always see where the battery is. Uh, there's a uh, water tank monitor and LED light at the front here as well. Okay, this one here, because we've got the dual battery, we've got a we've also got a projector DC DC charger. Okay, it's mounted here. And uh, these ones, the projector ones are really good because they'll fit any of the vehicles. Um, we've got a solar input here as well on the side. So if you want to plug solar panel in, you put it in through there, which will run through the BCDC charger. Okay, the kayak racks are standard. Now you can put a kayak or a tinny on top of that, but we do, you know, even if you're not going to carry a tinny, it's still really good to have them. You know, you might end up with a kayak. Uh, it's the sort of thing you're better off getting now and rather than an extra later on. And it's also really good for you know, helping to push the trail around and for tying off, and they're quite handy to have. Jerry can on both sides. Okay, there'll be marine carpet inside there. 
and at the back so that your jerry can's not going to rub. Um, we've got these stone deflectors on the front here, the steps on the side, the little side boxes above the um, wheel arch. Okay. Gas bottle on the back. It's got quick release. It's also got, you can see here underneath, a small piece of our Teflon. So that gas bottle sitting flat and not just sitting on these uh, parts here which will move all over the place. So, yeah, there's the cover that we make ourselves as well. The cover's fairly generous, so you've got quite a bit of room there for putting extra gear. A couple of cigarette plugs at the rear. You know, that's good for some LED lights, things like that, um, under the awning area. Drifter wheel cover, brand new tyre in the back, so there's three brand new tyres. On this side here is the water filler. Now we're using the new marine galley pump on this side. It's a really high quality um, hand pump made in New Zealand. Again, they're a marine pump, so all stainless steel fittings, and they're really nice. We've got the water tank filler here, and we've redone how that's plumbed up. You know, it used to be the water filler was here and it'd come down this way. Now we've redone it so it's a lot neater. Uh, side box. Again, the number of plates. Uh, I've got the number of, of the build. Um, starting from the first dot I did two and a half years ago. This one's number 100, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're up to number 120 now. Um, but yeah, this one was yeah, number 100. Another jerry can holder here, and we can also fit a gas bottle or a second gas bottle ring in front there. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, really. Now we'll just jump underneath and have a look under there. Okay, we've got two Alco rear stabilizers on the back, a 45mm solid axle from Alco with a 10 inch electric brakes, seven leaf off-road rebound springs uh, with the uh, greasable shackles. Now you can see underneath here as well we've wrapped aligned everything and we've seam sealed everything as well so it's a really good washable finish you know that works great if you want to hose underneath there's no gaps or cracks that water or dirt can get into. 80 litre roto moulded water tank there is room now on these trails to do a second water tank if you like now on the Dot 7 camper, it's something you can do on your own, but it's much easier with two people. So this is my mate Jake, and he's going to give us a hand to fold it all out. No hey everybody. All right, Jake? Yep. Now the covers, of course, what comes off first. So what you want to do is unclip it, and then what we're going to do is just fold, roll it over to the back, and we can lift it off. The best place for this is just to put it underneath here. All right, so these are some of the walls. We'll set those up later on. And we've got the ladder as well, so we can just leave that there. Okay, the first section is this here to come down, which is your vertical wall against the trailer. The next part to come off is your floor, okay? So you just pull that out like that. And now it's a matter of lifting the, the uh, tent section over. Okay, so once that's over, just got to pull the floor out as far as you can. Okay, just like that. And then that's all you can do from the outside. So come inside and we'll show you what to do next. The first thing you'll notice inside these tents when you open them up is it's very dark. So what I've done is a LED light up in the roof with a dimmer switch. Okay, so you can straight away turn that on and get a bit of light inside. Right, we're gonna put these bows out. So, if you've got two people, best to have one either side. With all these tents, you just wanna get the bows about, you know, three quarters of the way up. You can't get them fully tight until everything's set up. So we're just gonna put them most of the way up. This one here next, Jake. Now, inside we've got some coal bags. There's basically two spreader bars and two poles. So the tent poles go in there just to hold it vertical for the moment. And you've got two spreader bars either side.
Now these ones here can go fully tight. And the tent pipe will go in the corner. And it can also lift tight. Okay, now we can start to retension these. Push that out as far as you can. The vertical one as well. You'll only lift a little bit. And then retension this one here. So now you can you can just pull this out a little bit uh, once all those poles are tight. And then this now is ready to peg down.